So I'm Stephen Page. I'm from the Institute of Ocean Sciences in Sydney, BC. And this is my first trip to the Arctic. So my role on this, uh, on this cruise was to part of the, the night watch sampling team working at the controls of the CTD rosette, which provides us with real-time data. I was able to see, as we progressed to different stations, how the chemical and physical properties change. So with a lot of sampling programs, a single discrete point in time just gives you a snapshot at how the conditions are right then and there. So to really have an effective uh, vision or a, a perspective of aquatic systems, you, you need a long-term data set. This year was significantly less uh, ice cover. So, okay, just doing that on its own. If you just looked at it on its own, you wouldn't know that. You need all the other years relative to that to understand. You know, when we do the zooplankton nets, the bongos, we're seeing certain species at certain depths um, and not at other depths, and you know, they weren't there last year, they weren't there maybe the year before, or this last year there was a particular species there and it's not there this year. So you, so you really need the long-term data sets to understand, to make sense of, of both what's the natural variability and how things are changing or not changing.